The King's Man 2021 Movie The story begins first. In 1902, British Blue Blood Orlando, Duke of Oxford, his better half Emily, and their young child Conrad visit an inhumane imprisonment in South Africa during the Second Boer War while working for the Red Cross. Emily is mortally injured during a Boer expert marksman assault on the camp. Before she passes on, Emily makes Orlando guarantee at no point ever to allow their child to see battle in the future. After 12 years, Orlando has shaped a private government operative organization comprising of homegrown workers utilized by the world's most remarkable dignitaries, and has enrolled his own workers Shola and Polly into it. The organization's essential goal is to safeguard the United Kingdom and the British Empire from the coming Great War. Conrad is anxious to battle, yet Orlando prohibits him to enlist in the British Army and convinces Lord Kitchener, Secretary of State for War, not to allow him to do as such. At the command of Kitchener, Conrad and Orlando ride with Orlando's companion Archduke Franz Ferdinand through Sarajevo. Conrad saves the Archduke from a bomb tossed by Gavrilo Princip, a renegade purpose on igniting a conflict. Princip later experiences the Archduke's escort again by some coincidence, and prevails in lethally shooting him and his significant other Sophie. Orlando discovers that Princip is important for the flock, a gathering plotting to pit the German, Russian, and British domains against one another. The flock has its central command on a disengaged clifftop and whose extreme objective is to accomplish freedom for Scotland. Among its agents is Russian spiritualist Grigory Rasputin, confided in consultant to Tsar Nicholas of Russia. On the shepherd's requests, Rasputin harms Tsar Nicholas' young child Alexei, just to fix him when Nicholas vows to avoid the conflict. Conrad is told of Rasputin's control by his cousin, Prince Felix Yusupov. Realizing the Western Front will be left defenseless assuming Russia leaves the conflict, Conrad conveys this data to Kitchener and his confidant Major Max Morton, who set forth for Russia. Their boat is obliterated by a submarine and sunk. Expression of Kitchener's demise arrives at Orlando, prodding him to head out to Russia with Shola, Polly, and Conrad to manage Rasputin for the last time. After a tiresome close battle, Orlando, Shola, Conrad, and Polly effectively kill Rasputin during a Christmas celebration facilitated by Prince Felix. Soon thereafter, Subsequent to commending his 19th birthday celebration, Conrad communicates his assurance to enlist in the military, sadly. At the shepherd's requests, Eric Jan Hanussen, a guide to Kaiser Wilhelm II, sends the Zimmerman telegram, expecting to divert Britain and the United States. Albeit the message is blocked by British knowledge and interpreted by Polly, President Woodrow Wilson will not join the conflict referring to an absence of substantial evidence. The shepherd initiates Vladimir Lenin and orders his Bolsheviks to oust the Tsar and eliminate Russia from the conflict, sending a professional killer to kill the Romanovs. Presently old enough, Conrad is appointed into the Grenadier Guards against his dad's desires, yet Orlando convinces King George V to have him relegated to London. Not entirely set in stone to battle in the conflict, Conrad trades places with a fighter named Archie Reed, giving him the epithet Lancelot to send his dad a message. Masked as Archie, an individual from the Black Watch, Conrad volunteers for a mission into no man's land to recover data from a British specialist injured heir. He is confused with a German covert agent upon his return and executed at gunpoint destroying Orlando, however the data he has recuperated confirms the genuineness of the Zimmerman telegram. After Wilson again will not enter the conflict regardless of Conrad's verification, Orlando discovers that Wilson is being extorted with film showing him being lured by the shepherd's representative, Matahari, 
and sets out to recuperate it. After overcoming Hari at the American government office, Orlando has her cashmere scarf distinguished as being produced using interesting fleece just found in a particular bumpy district. Pinpointing this area as the Shepherds' headquarters, Orlando, Shola, and Polly head there and battle their direction inside. The Shepherd is uncovered to be Morton, who had faked his own demise and killed Kitchener himself. Orlando and Shola battle and kill Morton while Polly recuperates the film, it is conveyed to Wilson, who consumes it and gets ready to activate American soldiers. A year after the conflict, Orlando buys the Kingsman Taylor shop as a front for his association. Orlando, Shola, Polly, King George, Archie, and the U.S. representative to the U.K. structure the first Kingsman each expecting code names from the King Arthur legend to respect Conrad. In a mid credit scene, Hannesson, having taken on the Shepherd character, acquaints Lennon with the Romanov's executioner, a youthful Adolf Hitler.